Today's challenges in families and in communities stands from one, you know, little item to big items like absent fathers. And for someone who's out there who's sitting thinking, I've never met my father, I don't know who my father is, I've never been told anything about my father, it can be a daunting task to actually go through that and really find peace with it or even go and seek the father that you believe you know you need to have a relationship with so simple things like making sure that you ask the right questions if you're supposed to be able to have access to you know the family members that might be your mother that might be somebody else other than the mother you need to look at making sure that you understand that one they might not have told you who your father is for very good reasons so as such you need to make sure that when you ask you're not asking in a judgmental way. You're not asking because you're blaming someone for you not knowing. You need to be able to can ask with an open mind to say, you know, I, I need to have that relationship because I feel I have something that's missing within me. Not that I'm lacking something, you know, from my upbringing. Not that I'm lacking something from this family. But it must be something that says, goes like, I want to just connect and know who that man was. For my own benefit so that tomorrow be it I'm a, I'm a woman grown woman or a grown man i need to have answers of my own so that my children i can give them answers they need as well so we look at various aspects one it could be that if you have a relative that you can ask you ask but if you get a no answer you must never give up because getting a no answer could be that you are asking the wrong person could be that you're asking a person who was not in that emotional space to can answer that let us stop blaming for instance you know blaming your mother for 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 the relationship that's non-existent it's not gonna help your mother might have done what they needed to do for survival they might have done what they needed to do to protect you they might have done what they needed to do for their own reasons that you might not agree with but you need to know that but knowing that doesn't mean you must fight, doesn't mean you must break everything that you currently have. It means you must respectively ask the questions, respectively follow up. And even if you are given the opportunity to meet your father, you need to be able to have the right questions to ask. Be in a reconciliatory mood rather than a fighting mood, rather than a mood to say you want him to pay for what he did. And the whole notion that you don't know him, you don't need him, you can go on through life, it might sound good for you at the moment, but down the line, in the long term, you might just find that there are certain things that you miss. I mean, we know very well in our African cultures where you might be asked by whatever family members about your father, and if you've, mm. you've, you've let it go on for too long, at that point, it might be a stumbling block towards you actually. For instance, your passage to manhood, you know, when you get married, some families, it is very important to know who your lineage comes from, you know, your father, your father's family and all of that. Nonetheless, it is your right to know who your father is and you must ask. But whilst you're asking, you must be mindful of the fact that things have happened over the years. You know, information might have even changed. So do that, do that cautiously. But do that without the expectation of finding, you know, the best father that you could have ever found or actually finding the worst one that could have been. Just be open-minded about it and give it a good shot. It's well worth it.